As you can see, this is the entire uh, cast and crew and the two most important ladies who have actually produced this film. Uh, the film is called Kalki, as you all know. But I just thought, you know, we rarely get an opportunity where, uh, you know, artists and producers can sit together and have a chat. So I thought maybe we'll just sit and talk. So, of course, my first thing, of course, is to Sapnaji and, and to Priyankaji. How did you feel? When Nagi said, this is my, was it Nagi's idea, or was it your idea, or what? With Nagi around, I don't think we have a scope of any ideas. Sir. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. obviously. laughs> so, I mean, we've been obviously working together for a few years now, and every time a film gets over, it's about what are we doing next, and he just tells us a line. And then right after Manati, he took some time, after a year, he said, I have something. And then he just told the idea of it, which blew our minds. At that point of time, we really didn't understand the depth of it, what it needs to make this sort of a film. Only when we were going into it, we would understand, oh, this is his vision. In fact, we were all very excited to start off with, but then when we actually started, we, we were like, are we going to even help him enough? Are we like enough for him to make this yeah, film? Yeah. So that was one of our concerns. And then we really needed these big shoulders, like all of you to come and carry a film of the stage. Of. What I feel, you know, Kamal, is really admirable is that we have two ladies, <laughs> ladies looking after this massive production, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, some of the visuals you've already seen in the trailers. But to have two women actually in charge Correct. and to see it executed, and today we sit here to talk about the film and the kind of production that it has come out with, the kind of visuals you've seen has never been seen before. I mean, it's just quite, quite... Yeah, I was just talking about Shole. Yeah. That, uh, it's like that, you know, mm -hmm. like nobody has seen horses fall like that. Exactly. Nobody yeah. has seen machine guns going off like that. And uh, nobody has seen a villain talk like that or a hero <laughs> behave like that. <laughs> Everything was new about it. I, I think that's the same effect and I know where wow. you're getting the confidence from your father told me the story about how he became a producer. <laughs> he just went and stood in front of NTR's house for so many days that he noticed this face and he said, why is this young man? He seems educated. Mm -hmm. And he called him in and that's how the connection started and he became a producer wow. for <laughs> NTR. And wow. The name Vaijanti film was given by Mr. <laughs> NTR. Yeah. When Nagi came to talk to me about this, um, he just brought a, a picture, a, a visual concept of, of you know what my character is going to look like and what Prabhas is going to look like. And I was this huge guy who's shoving off <laughs> the Prabhas. <laughs> and Sorry. all the fans of Prabhas, please, you know, please excuse me. I'm hard joke ke mafi maag rahe. Don't <laughs> don't massacre me Sir, after you see your what I do to him in the film. <laughs> they're all your fans. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, um, it, uh, that was what was so impressive. I said, he's already got a vision in mind. And he's got a picture of what he's going to look like. Mm -hmm. Very rarely do you see. But what see, I, I've seen uh, photo uh, shoots or uh, uh, what do you call uh, storyboard. Storyboard. Story yeah. So there on my But I always suspect that because that's an ambition. Mm -hmm. ah, what happens yeah. really? Yeah. But when I ask that question, all that is fine. It's on paper. But how are you going to bring it to bring it to said, we have. <laughs> and they showed me your footage. <laughs> so I kept quiet. I, I just became part of the you know, <laughs> project because usually people come with big diagrams and they, the films don't even get made. Mm -hmm. So the, my question was that. Then I straight away went into what am I going to look like. Yeah. <laughs> So I told you the story. Yeah, about we just heard the story. I came up with the third eye and he said, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was the first trial for me. I don't know how the trial went for you. The makeup trial and, and uh, the prosthetics and everything. And I was saying, oh God, another prosthetic film I because I'd already that. done two before this. And uh, they're very painful. Yeah, but you know, yeah. the three hours that it used to take to put on the prosthetic, and then another hour and a half, two hours to take it off. It was all worth it. <laughs> and now when we talk to, you know, people outside who don't know that, uh, all of us that use prosthetics, it takes about three hours to put it on. And, and you have to just and be... And then taking it off. Yeah, not move, don't do anything, cooperate with the makeup artist. 
it's uh, it, it's it's not a torture really, but you know, a lot of people think it must be torturous. It is a torture. So you know, <laughs> once once you know that what the final result is uh, going I mean, to be, it is a torture <laughs> if <laughs> the movie is not good enough. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree. But <laughs> the movie is good enough. Yeah. It's, all worth it's it. not because you you're already. Imagining the applause. No, what I was wow. saying, Kamal, was that the day I put on my makeup for the first day and uh, went on to the set, I knew that this was worth it. Wow. You know, the moment wow. you, you sit on a scene, you see the set, wow. you see what's happening, it's just, I knew it was all worth it. I think I remember we were doing puja and you finished your makeup and we were doing, uh, I think we were just doing something and you just walked in like that yeah. with the whole thing. You were there and yeah. we were like, it's yeah. <laughs> stunned. Like yeah. Too good, sir. But that's all credit to you know the people who dress you up and make you up. No, everything, no, no credit to the <laughs> and imagine the artists do. all that has happened before. You walking into the set and yeah, <laughs> now yeah. I have to come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, what am I gonna do? No, but, but, they, but I got a call when you walked on to set. I remember Nagi calling me and just mm -hmm. that first day of shoot. Mm -hmm with you and Nagi called me and said, I just had to call and tell you that we shot our first day with Kamal sir. And Kamal like, sir. Ah, I missed he never it. Called me. <laughs> 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 he called me. I was in Bombay. And it was a long break because I mean obviously we were shooting yeah. in you know different schedules and I hadn't heard from him in a while and I see this missed call from Nagi. I was like, what has happened? I just called to tell you we shot our first day with <laughs> Kamal <laughs> sir. Like a oh, child. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's what made this film. Yeah. Yeah. That, the child. The child. child yeah. We, we, we yeah. hope this child will also make it. <laughs> <laughs> so you, know, like, you know, you've always been very quiet and simple and don't give so many reactions on set but uh, yes, <laughs> you know but, but somebody of your stature who is now presently uh, it's I, I, I've always wondered how you feel or how you felt when Nagi came and said this to you. When Nagi said first time. <laughs> because when I first met I him and we met on set and all that we went through this whole procedure well, who's going to touch whose feet so he came and said, well, I'm just touching your feet so then I said okay let's stop it yeah, you know, this whole business and then in a very quiet private moment he said sir be prepared to break a few bones and this and that I mean maybe this guy has made me break bones here there and I've been jumping here and there in Bahubali and so on and so forth so I was wondering how is it going to happen but you know that's the detailing that I was talking about, you know, the, the, your father. It's so, he's so simple, so down to earth. You can't believe he's there on set every yes. day. He's the first person. And he's actually mm -hmm. monitoring what the artist is being yeah. asked to do. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't put this, don't <laughs> make him do this because mm -hmm. that's tough for him. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the way Nagi programmed everything, you know, he said, sir, don't worry. We'll just use close-ups and we've got you know, dupes and we've got harnesses. And, and it is not about the number of cameras, the number of Exactly, crew. yeah. It, it's the quietness of the set which I enjoyed yeah. most. I must... I remember uh, the message. Because that's lacking in most sets. Yeah. The noise should be inside. <laughs> 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 and in the theatres. Yeah, yeah. Not in, in the, the set. set. So everybody is talking in, in discipline. Which I found that uh, uh, Mr. Nagi could speak in his <laughs> volume and still be heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he mumbles, but uh, he's still heard in the set because that's how quiet the set is. I ask these questions, you know, because in my time we never had all these facilities. Yeah. So if we had to jump from the second floor, we actually jumped. Mm. There were no harnesses. You break your ankle, you break your leg, and everything. Yeah, so it was a, I mean, it was a wonder for me how they were going to be able to do it. But you know, I just marvel at the technology now, you know, Kamal, you must have been through a lot of all this earlier on. I think we have invested yeah. by breaking <laughs> <laughs> so but many more now. We never had it. these facilities, you know, Yes, sir. Never we had know. Them. And to be able to now be part of it. Yes. And to have, you know, little cameras like this who are yeah. recording everything on digital. Yeah. yeah. Um, for us, as you may be knowing that, you know, celluloid film was the most expensive uh, item uh, in, uh, in the budget of a film. Yeah, yeah because it was not available. It used to get imported from Kodak. Mm -hmm. And uh, to save celluloid film, you had to be sure that your first take was okay. No. 
Yeah, that's a reputation. You can't you. make a mistake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember Rishida used to say, Rishida, I just want to, no, 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 want to okay. <laughs> yeah. He's saving celluloid, but yeah. he's also satisfied with it. Yeah. Yeah. And if you insist, it's there, take it, take it, you pay for it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. We never saw, we never had an opportunity to mm. uh, see, you know, monitors. The monitors. monitors yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No and we were not allowed camera. to go near the camera also. <laughs> You have to oh. pay a fine if we oh, yeah, the they're, they're all yeah, yeah. And If you got a chance money. to look through the... Nothing, yeah. never allowed. Not even allowed to go to the editing room. Sure. I mean, it was impossible. You saw yourself for the first time on the day of the, the release day. of the film. <laughs> so all this has been a, a, a huge experience and a learning for all of us. Which is why, you know, and Prabhas, I'm very sorry. All the fans. <laughs> <laughs> the first time in... We had a fight, you, and you caught me here and I thought like... In the movie. In the movie. <laughs> in the movie. So, I, I thought like, Amitabh sir, I need to be careful and all. He caught me so hard and uh, this film, this man is not a, whatever he's saying, he's some 25, 26. <laughs> and I told him, he's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but a lot of things we did, you know, we never ever expected we could manage this. And that is what is so intriguing for you. I think also the sets, I think for the audience to know that we built, we eventually, if I may say, built a city, built cities, built a city and I think the fact that Nagi today has a vision where once the movie releases, I think fans of the movie can actually go and visit the set. And the vision is unique see, yeah. because the way they place the camera Correct. is not like we are used to. Mm. Yeah. He comes quite close yeah. to look at you. It's too, too soft. And, uh, that, that, that's what you enjoy because uh, yeah. how do you act for yeah. cameras here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So how In do our you time it used to be a challenge, Kamal. You yeah. know, and I still remember that uh, one of the challenges for an artist used to be to give a close-up with a 75mm lens mm. on a Mitchell camera which was huge. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This uh -huh. huge monster used to come and stand here wow. with a lens uh -huh. and you have to do Close up. Mm -hmm. it's and it's a rack shift camera. Yeah. So even it. the cameraman is not actually looking at the image, but he's looking at <laughs> <laughs> the oh. Parallax. Parallax, yes. And they didn't have monitors. No Nothing. No, no monitor. monitor. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. And the, so we're not used to, you know, not seeing the director standing next to us on the set. Mm. We're already used to see yeah. where the camera is, the director, then he's guiding us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not used to that. Yeah. You just hear a voice somewhere, <laughs> two miles away, Nagi <laughs> <laughs> shouting or whatever it is. But uh, really, you know, I mean, Deepika, you have done so many films, you know, and uh, uh, hmm. I will say that you are a modern, modern age artist. So. No, not only that, in the West. Exactly, yeah. So, so I think, how, I think how nothing else international ads ever, <laughs> like it, no, anyone no. ever did. <laughs> Louis no, no, it must have been. <laughs> Keep it, it, it must have been a hell of an experience for you. No, I think what I was processing as I heard the two of you speak is in terms of where we were, filmmaking and technology. Yeah. To now, for all of us to be a part of a movie where I think every kind of technology that is available in the world today is probably at our disposal through this movie. Um, and the fact that we have a director who's used it so intelligently um, and also to find that balance because also with AI and things like that I think you can also lose the soul of, of performances but I think to be able to find that balance between technology that's available to you but to also keep the performances real I think is what makes this movie and this experience um, very special. Yeah, Some of the visuals of the for the sets, you know, we were either against a green screen or just yeah. so that we never know. But yeah. uh, quite honestly, for the first time, I've seen uh, the visuals, the, the, the surroundings, okay. and it's just unbelievable. And uh, my God, <laughs> I always wonder how Nagi had this vision. That's right. what I was saying. It's all in his. It was all in That's his in his, his mind. Mm, yeah. Yeah. No, uh, and even for us who like breathe in, breathe out with him every day, we'd be like, sometimes, oh, what are we shooting? <laughs> I don't see how we're shooting. <laughs> yeah. What, are we what we've created is only like the 30% of the set. Like, for example, the where you guys yeah. were fighting, it's just the bridge where we shot for Correct. a long time. But now time. you see but the now whole, whole there's a whole city yeah. there. 
So, when we watch yeah. the world, when we watch, we started watching some of the you know CG shots and fully built sets. We're like, wow, this is what this man had in his head, fully there. Like yeah. he knew what he was doing. He, I think she knew what he was. Doing. What <laughs> no, did I your would husband tell the first, room, like, the first sentence? What did he say about the film? The first, then he's like, he should tell you first. No, Nagi's the biggest expression would be like. That's no, no, no. Good. The first time when he told about the story or the movie, what he want to make. He's, uh, he told you first, I think, as I remember. Yeah, so basically he, he just said like, said, like I have this, this story, time. one word, he mm. just said like, you know, there's a small story that I really small like, but there's another mm. one, no, there, but there's oh. another one, um, which is like, a really like something that I would do at really a, at another stage, but if I don't do this now, now mm. then I might not then be able, I might to, do not be able again. to do it again. And then he, f he, yeah. he for some so, reason so went on that, yeah. say, saying in his own world words, I'd say, that this is something India deserves now. Mm. We will have to tell this sort of storytelling now. in India. We have to have our own, you know, stories like this. Yeah. So this has been there with him for the longest time. And apparently he wanted to do it with Prabhas like ages back. I said, I was like, I don't even know how. The first over. film he wanted to do with Apparently Nicole. with this film <laughs> and then. <laughs> no, the fact that, you know, we are able to mix mythology with something futuristic Correct. is so unique. Yeah, it's yeah. unique, sir. And very intelligent. Yeah. Very yeah. intelligent. Um, most of India, all of India recognizes our mythology and our history and our culture whatever our traditions And what are. could go wrong. And what could go <laughs> wrong. <laughs> but to be able to bring that and make it sound real, I mean, we'll be disclosing a lot of the story if we do that. But the fact is that by the end of the film, you will actually believe what you saw. Yeah. And yeah. that is the vision that, you know, will make the success of the director of the production and the film also. But Prabhas, you, you worked in similar uh, subjects earlier also. Uh, this so is like, like this. Babuli, for example, was, yeah, periodic. Well, was a little periodic. This but is future. Here, yeah, there is period yeah. and, and the future God. mixed together. Yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, it must have been a. And my character is like, uh, it has a lot of, it has grey, superhero, funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so also, the first time you have humor. One humor of the first I did few for, times. like, before Babuli, I, had, I did. But for other than Telugu, I think this is the first time they're watching me in humor funny character with superhero with grey shade. So I think yeah. the way he wrote, I think this is the best character ever in my life. <laughs> the way he wrote it. And also I have to say that, you know, one of the most difficult casting ever was Kamal Sir. Kamal Sir, yeah. He was so worried about we were like, You know, we were shooting, 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 but then like Yaskin, when is Yaskin coming? coming? The whole <laughs> film is Yaskin, but where is Yaskin? And how would you cast this this person <laughs> who's equal to or like you know uh, mightier than <laughs> these two superheroes and then who is it and then we could only think we were like we we, we were we were, were, we, we were for, for one, one year sir easily one year easily one year, easily one year. <laughs> <laughs> and i was telling why will he do it? <laughs> Don't torture <him>. just leave it's not a question of torture i self doubt becomes you know you've done this hmm. He has done yeah, this, yeah. he has done this, so what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that was the, the reason why was I like that. And it's not that I've played bad guys mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. even as a lead bad mm -hmm. guy, mm -hmm. psychopaths and all mm -hmm. that, but this is something else. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. First time, yeah. we are lucky to but have no, Kamal sir. No. <laughs> Deepika, first time you're doing a Telugu film, it's like completely different from the Bollywood or little different or very, very different. No, I mean, I and think... And Nagi is very different for us also because <laughs> in the first story when he told me it was, I could hear only 20%. <laughs> Other part I asked my friend, like, what did he say? I didn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, should have been tough for you from yeah. Bollywood mm. to this. No, I mean, I, I think that world of the movie, which mm. I think is new, even just, even for the audience, it's new. Mm. Um, but I think as actors, you, you're not really thinking. I think when you emote, the language, I think, comes secondary. It's no, the, the, the is emotion <laughs> is is what, and I think yeah. that's that's the language of cinema, right? Mm -hmm. It's 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 mm -hmm. transcends borders. It you know, so you can act in English, you can act mm -hmm. in Telugu, you can act in Hindi. But I think as long as the emotion, 
you can just say so much with your eyes without saying anything at all and be able to convey that emotion and you can show um, the best the words with your eyes. are more <laughs> like a crutch i feel so no i didn't feel i didn't feel like oh mm. you know i'm now working yeah. in telugu cinema or, or you know it didn't feel overwhelming in that sense and yes. uh, i can tell you people are going to be shocked when they see uh, kalki like? with mm. the kind of effort that has been put in and uh, these visuals are just unbelievable Yes, <laughs> and I was just seeing some comments on the net, which is very heartening. So, like exactly what uh, what you said about Bringing India is ready for it, yeah. and yeah. they are <laughs> because they are owning it up, and they're saying, Great. "Nice, we deserve to see such such full." Great. Great. Yeah. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Can silence that we have <laughs> on the set. <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing more to say because we are fully satisfied. Now we have to redo this because this light was off. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, light bandu. CG me karenge. It's on the table. No, no.